Guys, here is a test flight for the DJI Vision Plus. You can see pretty cool stabilization on the pan, tilt, and roll. Let me put it down, I'll show you guys exactly how everything works. So right now I have it hooked up to an iPad. You can see you got the live view. I have it, uh, the camera preview set for uh, 480 resolution at 30 frames. You can see it's, pretty, it's, pretty, it's a pretty neat app because it gives you how many satellites you have, the percentage of the main battery, and also the percentage of how much the battery for the Wi-Fi repeater. So that way you know like, you know, you have to charge or recharge when you're uh, flying it. So right there, and then down here gives you the kind of um, IOSD of your distance, how high you are, and how fast you're flying it. And also down here is a little radar, so you can see when I tilt the phone or depending on where I go. And the heading of the Phantom, it tells me, you know, where it is according to where I'm at. So it's pretty neat. It tells you, you know, 65, when you tap it, how far you are away. So it's not really exactly where it's at, but it gives you an idea of where, you know, to look for it if you ever lose your Phantom for any reason. So... And then this is the tilt. It's pretty smooth, I know. I find it pretty smooth. And then this is, if you want to use the app, so you can tilt down like this. If you want to use your phone. But it's probably easier to go this way. So let me put this one down and take it up. Show you guys how it works. To arm, just move both sticks to the lower corner. One thing I'm not used to is hovering with the remote. When you let go, it automatically goes to 50% so you know if you guys have been flying for a long time you may want to remember that you know that's just how it works we bring it up you can see hands off it's a little windy here today so if you look down the camera a little bit towards the tree you can see the tree uh, treetops over there blowing it so it's pretty windy you know it's about 10 miles an hour not too bad typical California wind so let's go over here to the iPad. Mm -hmm. Look over here at the iPad. You guys can see exactly what it's seeing. <clears throat> so sometimes depending on where it's at, it may uh, kind of break out on you. But right now it's not too bad. Earlier when I was at the park, it kind of broke out a lot. I guess maybe there was too many phones or Wi-Fi's or whatever they have laying around. So you can see now. I'll just let it hover. And then just tilt down and just by visually looking at my phantom it drifts off about five feet or so every once in a while just because of the wind but you can see it's pretty neat my favorite part is just being able to see the you know the main battery so that way when you're flying it you know to come down maybe 20 25 percent just come on down so let me tilt up this is about a good angle you can see right now I'm gonna just put the stick so you can back off a little bit. You guys can show see how stable it is. Let me bring it down a little bit lower. I see a low flying airplane, so alright. You guys can see the image on the screen. I'm rocking the cyclics right now or I'm rocking the roll stick. You can see it's back and forth, front and back. You can see it keeps a really good job of keeping everything nice and stable. And then a little bit of yaw. One thing I did notice was when you give yaw input, the camera does yaw with the Phantom. So, you know, I guess that's just, just uh, to make it follow the direction that you want to look a lot quicker. So they kind of mixed in that follow and manual control of yaw. So let me go right by this tree over here. And then look down at the iPhone app. Hey babe, iPhone app. You guys can see it's you know how stable it is. The three axis really makes a difference with you know any any flying multi-rotors. Just you can see there's barely any yaw of movement. And right now the wind's kind of blowing a phantom a little bit. You can see it's just really nice. Let me bring it a little bit lower. Get a little bit risky, bring it a little bit lower. As you see, I'm right on top of this tree over here. It actually looks closer than it is on the screen, but I'm actually pretty far from the tree itself if you want to look up right now. So I'm not too close, but you can see. Let's look back down at the app. So you can see right now, 
Parking, I'm about 16 feet up. If I look up here, and then you can see when I climb, it goes to about 50. I'll just stop about 50 feet, you know, I'm in my neighborhood. I don't want to fly too far. And if I do fly around, you can see the speed changes a little bit. So I'm barely flying around, trying to keep it over my house. I don't want to fly over the neighbor's house, you know, I don't want them thinking I'm spying on them or anything. <laughs> it's pretty neat. I mean, the camera resolution is actually not that bad. So, I mean, I'm really impressed with the quality so far. Here. One thing I do remember too, if you're a, an experienced pilot used to flying airplanes or RC helicopters, when you want to go down, you have to manually tell it, hey, go down lower, and when you let go, it hovers itself. So, I mean, that's one of the things that I'm not really used to yet, but, you know, I'm pretty sure I'll get used to it. This DJI made it too beginner-friendly, in my opinion, but that's a good thing for a lot of people, but for guys like me, I'm just used to having you know, zero uh, throttle all the way down, not in the middle, like how DJI programs it. So let's uh, look at the quad over here. So you can see, when you want to bring it down, just lower down the throttle stick. Remember, lower, because when you let go, it's going to hold its altitude, so. All right, we go land it. And the trick when you land it is slowly get throttle when you go down. When it touches the ground, like so, just hold down. About three seconds, four seconds later, it will cut off and you can see no more throttle. So that's pretty much it. I mean, this Phantom Vision Plus fly is very nice. I'm really impressed with the way it flies. It's a big improvement over the original Phantom, which, you know, has a larger battery now with the Vision Plus. And the, the app is really neat. No more, you know, carrying monitors, FPV gear, everything is here on the Phantom and on your smartphone or tablet itself. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it and that was just a video showing you guys, you know, how everything looks and works with the DJI Vision Plus. So thanks for watching guys.